Hello, YouTube fam. Did you order Dominatrix? Just kidding, I know you did. Well, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing a Q&A this week. Sorry about last week. Didn't really have time. Did a live instead at my party. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, it's under the live category. I did have somebody ask about where the lives pop up. They're on a separate category um, under the channel. So I've got some updates for you today, um, some career updates. I've had a lot of people ask me what I do as a career. So I'm an actor and of course I do this as well, but you know, this doesn't really make a lot of money as of right now. I'm very up and coming and new. I was recently in a cool action film with a filmmaking legend named Dustin William Ferguson. You can look him up on IMDb or Google. He's really cool. He's made a butt ton of movies. He's probably going to win that Guinness world record soon in the next year, I would assume. Um, so the movie is called Cobra Strike Force. I'm going to just impose it here. And I played a role there. Don't want to give anything away, but I will let you know more details on when it's released, where it's going to be, etc. I also was in my friend Angela's web series as a grandma. Here is the special effects makeup. Pretty good. I aged a few years, we can safely say. That was a ton of fun. Not sure on the name of the web series yet. I'm pretty sure there's a working title, but I will also let you know more info when that releases. And now back to YouTube. Okay, so Spearheading 4 is coming out this Saturday, and I think you guys are going to definitely want to see it because it has some references to a particular dominatrix, perhaps. I don't want to give too much away, but definitely check it out. And uh, part three is out as well. Um, I kind of released it over the holidays, so it didn't get as much traction, but it's there if you guys want to go check it out. So I've got some bullet points here. I just wanted to tell you that my creative partner and friend, Jason Rosenblatt, who does the writing and directing and editing for a lot of these skits you see on this channel, including the cross-eyed dominatrix, he has his own channel and it's called Jason Rosenblatt Films. If you don't know how to spell that, it's in the description and it's also on my channel bio. Uh, yeah, so go check out his channel. He's got a lot of funny stuff. Uh, he just released a movie called Gerard. It's got three parts. The third part just came out today. And I wouldn't say it's really a comedy, but maybe it has some comedic elements. I found it a little sad in some ways. So I would say maybe it's like, I mean, I don't, I didn't make it, but it's like a drama-ish, dramedy, dark comedy. I don't know what you'd call it, but check it out. See for yourself and make your own opinions of it because I think Jason's really talented. I've also been experimenting with writing some shorts, as I mentioned in one of my prior videos and got the support from y'all, which I really appreciate. So hopefully I can just come up with some little cute shorts to put on my channel that you guys can see. Uh, so we're going to get right to questions now. Question one, I will superimpose next to me here or wherever it fits best. We've got Eric Jam 6346. Eric says, I have a Q&A question. You seem to have, re you seem to really have a gift for comedy. Thank you. I am just wondering what your background is. Have you done stand-up? Perhaps you were a member of a comedy club like Second City. Or does your comedic timing just come from theater acting? I love that question. That's a really good question. So in terms of comedy, I have not done stand-up. I'm very terrified of it. Maybe I'll try it someday. Um, I've taken comedy classes at Leslie Kahn. I'm currently taking comedy, well, improv at the Groundlings. I've seen a lot of comedy shows from Second City, Groundlings, etc. Um, so I'm actually just recently taking improv at the Groundlings, but I've taken improv before at other acting classes in Portland. And I think improv's really fun and I really love comedy. And honestly, I've watched a lot of comedy my whole life, including stand up. I just, I don't know, I just like to laugh. I like to make people laugh. And. Yeah, but my comedy training, I would say comedy with Leslie Kahn, improv with the Actors Lab is where I started. That's the place in Portland. And then now I'm doing Groundlings, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so question two. Oh, that is not question two. What is going on? There it is. 
Let me zoom in because I'm blind. We've got Turbo Last Name. This question is a super chat. Thank you, Turbo Last Name, for your support. If y'all don't know what a super chat is, it is like a donation thing that allows your question to be seen more and it shows up in a separate tab on my YouTube, like here's the people who did the super chats and it just kind of like makes your questions stand out and it also helps the channel grow and everything. So yeah, really appreciate it, Turbo Last Name, you rock. So now to get to your question, who is your all time favorite YouTuber and why? Well, I really like Key and Peel. I know they didn't start on YouTube, but I found them on YouTube and I thought they're so funny. I love their sketch comedy. I've watched a lot of their stuff on YouTube and then they moved to Hulu and I've watched a lot of it there. They're hilarious. I just love sketch comedy and they're just brilliant. Um, I also uh, have done a lot of gaming. So I really liked PewDiePie when I was younger and watching YouTube and gaming. I know I feel like such a, such a basic simp, but PewDiePie is a cool dude. Um, don't know him personally, but yeah, shout out to that guy. He's pretty awesome. Um, cool. Thanks, Turbo Last Name. You rock. I appreciate you. Now let's go to the next question. All right. Ooh, this one's kind of long. I gotta zoom in. We've got Verdan Horia. I hope I said that right. Also, thanks again for the super chat. Um, I did block them out just for the privacy of the people who are donating to this channel. Um, can you explain the last scene in the Dominatrix video where you're at the bus stop? I'm not sure what that was supposed to be about. Well, just to put it simply, the Dominatrix, aka me, I'm also dressed like her right now. Um, she was done with her workday. She was going home or to the next place. She's just... She doesn't drive clearly, so she's just trying to find a way home and she's taking the bus because it's cheap, easy, and she's not very good at being discreet, as we know, so she's just in her outfit, like, what is this girl doing? But anyways, I'm not judging, I'm just like, she's got some chutzpah, so she's on her way home or to the next client, and she's just waiting at the bus stop, and she... That's pretty much it for that episode. And then we move on to the next one, which is coming out soon. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So that's all I actually have for Q&A questions today. If I, if I missed any of yours that you want me to answer, just let me know because uh, I get a lot of comments and sometimes it's easy for stuff to get kind of lost in the chaos. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for everyone who watches these videos and comments and likes and subscribes and shares with their friends and honestly means a lot and I'm new to this whole thing so just thanks for bearing with me here <laughs> it's a journey uh and I want to say I am looking for more people to collaborate with in LA that includes crew cast whatever uh you can direct message me on Instagram all my handles and stuff are in the description down below so you can find me there um I will say that if you do direct message me I'm probably likely only going to respond to business inquiries because I just get so many direct messages that it's hard to respond to them all though I will do my best to respond to comments I will do my best to respond to chats and I also will of course take time to put particular comments in these videos and questions so I was thinking along with the Q&A I would maybe just react to some people's comments if I don't get a whole lot of questions every time and just be like, oh, so-and-so said this, cool, or whatever. So I will take the time to interact with you guys that way and, of course, respond to comments. But in terms of direct messaging, um, yeah, if you got a business inquiry, definitely shoot me a message within the LA area, preferably. Um, that's going to be all today, folks. Uh, stay foxy, as always, and I will see you next week. Tune in Saturday for spearheading episode four.